So let's talk about pitch for a bit. So we have here, this is treble clef. I apologize to you bass clefers out there, but you're just gonna have to uh, bear it with me. But the first exercise really isn't that bad. We start on middle C, and then as we know, it's we go up alphabetically. So this line is entirely C, this line is entirely D, and then one higher is E, one higher is F, one higher is G, one higher is A, one higher is B, and one higher is C. And if we look down here, this is the C one octave higher than this C. And again, it just goes C, D, E, F, E, D. Um, and then so there's different variations, but it's that same, it's that same thing every time. It's C, D, E, F, E, D. C, D, E, F, E, D. So it's really not so bad even if you're um, exclusively on the bass clef at the moment. So I, I, how can we use this to improve our, our pitch, our, our, our ear, um, and our ability to um, sight sing in our minds or even out loud? So uh, when I look at a piece of music before I even begin to play, because of the training that I did in college and university and with my private instructors, I have a very good sense, although not a perfect sense, of what the music is going to sound like before I even play. And the more you practice that, it, it improves your ability to pre-hear what you're supposed to play, which makes it more easy. Uh, definitely makes it easier. So let's start with the piano keyboard. So I'm just going to draw a keyboard really quick here so that we can use this this keyboard to to play the pitches for those of you that that don't have your instruments so on the keyboard we have a group of two black keys and then we have a group of three black keys and this repeats in each direction as we go this way pitches get higher and as we go this way, pitches get lower. Now, beside these two black keys is always the letter C, then the letter D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then it repeats again, okay? And um, so if we look at the C major scale, it's basically the same notes. And this is the first note, this is the second note, this is the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and then the one or the eighth the octave, if you want to call it that, okay? Now, um, a very popular system called solfege, very popular with singers and um, people who learn music by rote, um, ear training music, um, and it's very helpful for us in band class as well, is the solfege system, you've heard of it before, I'm certain, is where we would call this do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, so I can apply this to learning these songs. So if I don't have a piano at home, I can just simply go to Google and uh, type in online piano very easily. And I can get a piano, a virtual piano that I can play online. And I can use the mouse to play the pitches or I can use the keys and uh, very easily. So here's one. Okay, um, so I just played that on my keyboard. I'm sure you can change the sounds and the sustain level and whatnot. So I can simply do. So I can hear that do 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 re 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 right. And I can go through these um, these pitches. So of course, all of my C's are going to be do's, 
and all my D's are going to be rays, and then my E's are going to be me's, and my F's are going to be fa's, my G's are going to be so's, my A's are going to be la's, my B's are going to be T, and of course when I hit C again, it returns back to do. So starting off with this is not so e it's not so it's not so difficult, okay? And we'll aim to get to here with that solfege singing. And then those of you that find it really easy, if you want a little more challenge, you can do you can do the more melodic bits that are here. Um, and apply the solfege and the singing and get used to hearing those pitches and it's really going to do wonders. If you wanted to take that even further, what you could do is apply this to your band pieces. Okay? Um, if you brought your music home or if you wanted to just select a piece of music from... Um, from online, you could actually just look at a preview and get the first page of your part from uh, jwpepper.com, and it'll. Uh, you can just take a screenshot of it, or or just look at it online, and you can. Um, you can even just take you know four bars of it or something, and what you'd have to look at is what key is it in, and if you need help with that, you can give me an email, or we can talk. Um, uh, but I'm sure most of you can figure it out yourself. And then if we figure out that key, what, what note is going to be Do, what note's going to be Re, and we can learn how to sing that short passage for your band instrument um, properly using, using the solfege, and you can work on the pitch, and you can work on the, the rhythm just with your just with your voice and if you do that while you're away from your instrument when you get back to your instrument you are going to know um, your parts a lot better uh, so that's that's a great thing it's going to improve your sense of pitch it's going to improve your ear it's going to improve your sight reading it's um, it, it's an excellent excellent activity it, it touches on um, a lot of the, the musical areas of development uh, that, that we're looking to improve. So if you want to go further, you can, you can work with that activity. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails about marks, and I'm not really um, going to change your marks much from what they were in at Christmas time unless I feel you deserve a better mark. So if from term one, um, if what Miss Brinson and Mr. Mishuk saw, um, if I saw an improvement in that, I will approve your mark the way I see fit. And from what you got at Christmas time or at the end of January from Mr. Mystic as your midterm mark, um, it will definitely not go down. Okay, um, and if your mark is um, unsatisfactory to you and you want to talk to me about an individualized extra credit mark boosting activity that we could do in the month of June, if you want to, uh, we can discuss um, an individualized activity, something that suits your interests, a little bit of research, maybe a difficult rhythm you could clap your way through or something to show that extra um, interest and uh, I'll evaluate what you've accomplished between now and uh, June 26th and I will base that uh, to improve your mark in that category, okay? So nobody's mark is going to change as of Christmas unless um, I feel that I've seen something in the band room that in my professional opinion, I believe you deserve better because of the way you uh, behaved or performed. I, I, I think you deserve better. I'm not gonna lower anyone's marks for any reason um, from what they were at Christmas time. And if you want to know your mark or how to improve it, you can get together, um, send me an email, we can have a little conference on MS Teams, 
and and talk about that improvement and uh, and we'll get you um, to where you think you you deserve to be all right so that's it for me I hope you enjoy um, this week's activities the rhythm studies for um, these different pitches and and the and the ear training and and learning the keyboard and like I said if you have any questions just shoot me an email and we can uh, we can talk in MS teams if you if you need to see you later band